What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 9. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another banger of a video for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Life Orb Cinderace scene alongside with Choice Band Draco Fish. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support that has been going out across the channel. Your boy is finally back from vacation, which means daily uploads are back in action so every single day make sure you stay tuned for videos getting started with this team we have whimsicott in the top left corner he is going to be our tailwind pokemon we also have that prankster ability obviously because who uses whimsicott without that ability we also have eject button for its item tailwind moon blast helping hand and protect for its move set right next to him we're gonna have vanellix a pokemon that i haven't used in forever i used to use him a little bit way way back like probably a year ago i used to use him to run aurora bell and it used to work out pretty well but we have him here with snow warning for that hail and weather control focus sash for our for its item so it can't get one shot blizzard icy wind taunt and protect i kind of do like this one because blizzard's going to be able to hit 100 percent of the time in this weather we can use them for weather control in case of running rain or drought teams or even sandstorm teams we have icy wind to slow down taunt for support pokemon and then protect that's his, his final move i really do like this pokemon hopefully we get to show them off in today's video middle left we have regilecki great pokemon all around this thing has choice specs and transistor ability so this thing's going to be able to hit pretty hard with its choice specs giving it that boost we have bolt switch to pivot e web in order to slow down and do a little bit of damage thunderbolt and electro ball as its final move next pokemon we have draco fish you guys know this pokemon is an absolute beast now that restricted mons aren't here i just think this thing got a whole lot stronger strong jaw is its ability choice ban for its item fish's ren obviously got to have that move so good very dominant can one tap almost every single pokemon outrage as our other stab move psychic fangs as our coverage move and it can break screens and rock slide as our final coverage move Bottom left corner is going to be a bread and butter for this team. We got our Cinderace with that Life Orb and Liberia. This Pokemon was so strong before Series 8 came out when Restricted Mons were allowed. Kind of got pushed back, but now he's back. I think he's going to be back and better than ever considering Restricted Mons aren't here anymore. He's going to show up in the spotlight and be able to dominate. Pyro Ball, Bounce, High Jump Kick, Iron Head. Lovely moveset. Going to be able to rock out with that. Final Pokemon is going to be Indeedee with the Psychic Surge and Psychic Seeds. This is male Indeedee, so we're using it for Attack and a little bit of support. We have Expanding Force for Hard Hitting Stab, Psychic Move, Helping Hand to actually help out our other Pokemon do more damage, Trick Room, and we can Imprison Trick Room. So it's gonna be able to counter Trick Room here as well. Guys, you wanna try out this team for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that Series 9 Ranked Double Ladder with this Life Orb Cinderace team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against like a little rain team, but no Pokemon to set the rain without Dynamaxing. He has Lapras, Storm Drain, Gastron, Swift Swim, Kingdra. He has that, uh, ooh, that Lightning Rod Raichu. You gotta watch out for that. He also has the Roll Boom and Celesteela. How can I do this? I definitely want to be able to take Weather Control, so I want to bring Vanellix in that back end. I feel like that can be really well and, uh, do some work for us. I think we're gonna need Whimsicott to get started here. Try to take Speed Control and roll from there. I really want to bring Draco Fish, but at the same time, like, eh, do I do it? Or oh, I can set a Trick Room. Trick Room could be very helpful for us. Draco Fish could be good, but if we choice into the, uh, if we choice into that, uh, then what's it called? That'd be bad. Can't choice that Fish's Ren. That's just so tough. Um, I am going to bring Indeedee. I think I'm going to lead Indeedee. Try to get Speed Mole in here. Try to drop some Expanding Forces and roll from there. Definitely got to bring Cinderace. Cinderace is going to be a top mon here. And then Vanellix. We need that Weather Control, right? I do need another hitting Pokemon. I don't want to bring Draco Fish. Mm, we gotta pick now. We have two seconds. Kinda wanted Draco Fish, but dude, he covers a lot of my extra attackers. My two other attackers with the choices is Regilecki, which is countered by Lightning Rod, and then my Draco Fish, which gets countered by the Storm Drink Astronaut. So that's looking. Dude, this is a tough battle for us to go up into for battle number one. Like, this team's actually looking strong. Like my team, but I'm like, dude, of course he has everything to counter me. He's gonna get going with the Boom and Celesteel, which I'm totally fine with. We're gonna lead our Wimscott and we are gonna have Indeedee ready to go. But I think I can just drop a solid expanded force and get one from there. Set up our tailwind. Um he can't roll trick him, can he? I don't think he can with these Pokemon. He does have fake out, which he cannot fake me out considering the surge roll, and hopefully he's uh he's a little on the 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 dumber side here. And he goes for that fake out. Oh no, he can! He grants he surged me. That buttery biscuit. All right. Now I don't like where we're sitting. Not at all. Because I was going to helping hand in there. Um. This one just expanding for us. Try to do some damage on this Robo. I don't like this starting position here. He might Dynamax and just get after me, right? 
Or is she gonna fake me out and try to get rid of my uh, my Whimsicott? I feel like if Cinderace comes out here, we could do some absolute work. I'm hoping he actually hits my uh, Whimsicott after this so my eject button can swap and we can get Cinderace out here and just roll Helping Hand and get going from there. Rest the guy's gonna pop. He's not gonna drop a fake out. Indeed, he's gonna be able to eat and be able to get off Expanding Force here. That's lovely. We'll do that. Get a little bit of damage. Nothing too special here. And Flash Cannon's gonna come through here and check button is gonna pop. Alright, that's totally fine. And we just die instantly. Okay, that's fine. We're bringing out Cinderace because I can totally see Cinderace just clutching this one up and uh, dominating this battle. He's gonna beast boost up here. His special attack is going to raise, and I'm gonna bring out Cinderace, helping hand, and drop a Pyro Ball on that thing. Well, not a Pyro Ball, a G Max Pyro Ball. Because we're 100% gonna hit the Dynamax here. And have our Vanellix in the back end. So if he swaps and, try, and tries to get Rain Rolling, he has to have like a Swift from Kingdra or something. I can just change up that weather and roll from there. Okay, right, let's get it. I'm gonna go for that G-Max Fireball. Getting after that Celestial. I kind of hope he Dynamaxes that. I'm gonna Helping Hand just in case that does happen. And we're gonna roll from here. Because he is plus one to Special Attack, so I couldn't see him Dynamaxing. It is a, it is a nice little possibility. Real Boom probably just gonna Grass Guide into my Ndidi. After my Helping Hand goes out, because Helping Hand gets that little, little priority. So indeed he can go down and we're just sitting here tough. I knew this one was gonna be a tough battle right off the rip. Right off the rip, I saw it happen. I was like, yeah, this one this one's not in our favor. <laughs> you know with Jaw Celestial, drop out probably Gastrodon, right? No, Raichu's gonna come through here, and I'm I'm alright with that. I'm honestly okay with that. I'm okay with that. Showing another Pokemon here. Dang, dude, we could have totally brought in our Draco Fish. Dude, if we had Draco Fish, I would love this. I would have loved this. G-Max Fireball should we be able to bring this thing down to a Sash. I mean, what was the whole swap for this? To maybe get out of, off a of Fake Out later? I think this Raichu is going to be Sashed. I mean, I hope not, but I could see it totally being Sashed. Here goes the Glide. Like I said, Glide pops out. Indeed, he's gone. Get it out of here. It's dead. It is dead. Hmm, I'm digging where, where we're sitting right now, kind of. I feel like I can just clutch up with my uh, Cinderace. It is sashed. There's this lovely little sash, and it might just nuzzle up on me. That might be his play. We might go for a fake out. Get some HP back. I am going to drop an Icy Wind. And hopefully he doesn't fake me out. That would be, that'd be rather annoying, because I can Icy Wind, take out that Raichu, and just dump on that Cinderace. Or not Cinderace, dump on that Robin in one shot, no problem. Get my Vanellix out here. And we get a little bit of Hail Buffets rolling here. But it, oh, dude, if the Hail was there, wouldn't I have taken out the Raichu? Or I think the Surge would have came out first. But do I Airstream for Speed Boost? I could. Change my typing here as well. But then he might go for an Electric move. I think we just Fireball here. I think Fireball's going to be play. Go Fireball. And drop a nice, lovely little icy wind on both these Pokemon. I could have just went for Blizzard. Blizzard's hundred percent hitting. Well, let's see who goes first. Oh, I just outspeed completely. So he is not going for a fake out, which is very good. Real Boom's gonna drop down here. Hopefully, he throws out Celesteela. Kind of hoping here. I don't know who his last Pokemon's gonna be. But Cinderace is putting up a fight. This Pokemon is so strong. Icy wind's gonna come out here. Pick up the double kill. We're sitting here, we have one more turn left in our Dynamax. If I can get rid of one of his Pokemon, we can potentially be sitting really, really nice here. The Cinderace 100% outspeeds the Celestial. And I should be able to take that out, no problem, unless it Dynamaxes. And who's this final mod? Is it going to be Gashadon? It might be Gashadon. He's going to send out the Kingdra. He's going to send out Kingdra, and I can totally see a Dynamax happening from the Kingdra. Him setting the Swift Swim. Um, I do have to change out my typing here. I 1,000% have to change up my typing. Mm, I really want to G-Max Fireball that thing. Jeans want to do here. You go flying. I, I think I have to drop an airstream here. I have to change up my typing. The Cinderace doesn't just get one tap. Um, do I start slowing him down or do I just blizzard across the field? I'm looking for a freeze. The Cinderace is faster and then Vanellix will get off a turn here and I can't slow down. I think slowing down that Kingdra could be could be plays. I think we have to take a speed drop here. I think we have to slow down these Pokemon. I really do. Instead of going for that Blizzard. Like I said, he's going to Dynamax that Kingdra. And he's going to drop a Water Move. 
but Airstream's gonna come out here first. We're gonna get a speed boost, and then he's gonna set the ring. And we're gonna uh, minus his speed, so Cinderace should be able to get off one more turn after this. With a plus one for us and a minus one for them. So let's just see, yo. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. I knew this battle was gonna be tough for us once we started. Uh, once we uh, went in with our Pokemon. And he, and he didn't even bring in any of them. I could have won this battle so easily. We're going with an Airstream. Solid damage all around. Solid damage. I mean, that speed boost. Vanel should be able to go here. And I'm thinking we can. Oh, no, we can't drop a Blitzer if we change the weather up. Let's see how much damage we're going to do here. Icy Wing drops here. Nice, lovely little speed drop there. This is a solid battle. This battle turned out way better than I thought it would. After like the first two turns, I was like, oh, we're kind of in a dumpster. He's gonna drop the geyser. He's gonna get swift swim. So that's basically like a like a tail. And like I said, we're gonna be able to eat that up now. And let's see. Celestial shouldn't be able to take out my cinders, right? Probably gonna go for a flash cannon on me. That correct? Right? Yeah. Flash cannon comes out here. We are sashed. We are sashed here. And there goes our sash. All right. The big old focus sash there. Um. I play this one. I have to get rid of that uh that kingdom, right? I have to get rid of the Kingdra. I tell when Peter's out, but I think we're faster than that Kingdra, right? I think we're faster than that Kingdra. Good bounce, a good Pyro Ball. I have to go for this high jump kick. Change my time. I think I have to go for this high jump kick. And I'm going to drop Blizzard. I got to go all out here. I got to go all out, all out here. Hope these moves hit. Let's see. I jump kick comes through. My Brio change land. Need to move the land. It lands. Do we get the KO? Oh, we get the KO. Oh my lord. We get the KO. We get the KO. Blizzard connect. I need you connecting here, Blizzard. I need you connecting here, buddy. Blizzard connects. Hold up. If if my Cinder survives, we should be able to win this match. Flash can comes out here. Who are you going after? Cinder. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. This thing's beast boosted, yo. We got a good battle here. Can Vanellix clutch up? I think we need a freeze. I really do think we need a freeze. Right? Grass is gone. Oh my lord, yo. This battle. Blizzard. Doom dirty. Get after it. Come on, Vanellix. Connect it. End it. End this battle. Get it. Let's go, yo, clutching it up, yo, what a first battle, Cinderace and Vanellix are beasts, dominating and clutching up for the whole squad. That first battle might be the clutchest battle I ever had on record, did you guys see that, Cinderace and Vanellix 2v4ing a whole squad and just wiping them out, no problem. Guys, I also forgot to ask you guys question of the day, and that is, are you guys enjoying Series 9, and what Pokemon are you guys using the most on the Series 9 Ranked Ladder? Definitely let me know in the comment section down below, but guys, my mind is still blown from that first battle. It is crazy. It's just crazy, but we're hopping into our second one. He has Incineroar, Shell Smash, Flash Swords. That gotta be Shell Smash, right? I believe it. Grimmsnarl, Thunderous, Tapu Koko, and Heatran. And Heatran. I'm definitely bringing in my boy, Dracofish. No problem. We gotta go Wimscott. Start taking Speed Control. I might go Regilecki. We go Regilecki, Cinderace, and Dracofish. Go two choice specs. I'm digging that. I'm gonna lead Dracofish, Cinderace, and then in the final spot, um, we go Indeedee. Indeedee could be solid. It's Indeedee or Regilecki. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I really want Regilecki. I want Vanellix. He did clutch up. We're gonna go Indeedee here. <laughs> Vanellix did clutch up last battle. When he took out my Cinderace at the end there, I was like, oh my god, I think we lost this one. I think we lost this one, but then Vanellix hitting two blizzards. I can't even hit two muddy water, so I'm surprised I hit two blizzards. Like, muddy water, I'm always missing with, and it's ridiculous, but you know your boy Vanellix. He had to come in. He had to show up today. He was like, yo, I don't get a lot of usage, but when I get used, I show up, and that's exactly what he did. He's going to go Incineroar and, um, okay, Incineroar and Thunderous, and he's going to get that Intimidate drop on me, which I don't like, which I don't like one bit. How could you do that to me? But uh, let's go Tailwind. Tailwind's gonna be play, and he's probably just gonna fake me out, right? Might swap. I could see an electric move coming in here, but hmm. I'm gonna go for his fish round. We'll go for it. I guess we'll try it out. Let's see what he does. He might fake me out and then drop an airstream onto my onto my what's it called? My whimsicott. That could be a play. 
Let's see what this guy does. I could have swapped into Indeedee. That really wouldn't have done. Actually, that would have done a lot. We wouldn't have been able to get off Tailwind. I probably should have swapped Indeedee for Dracofish. Just so the fake out couldn't hit. We could have got off Tailwind and then Whimscott would have went down. Because I'm convinced he's going for that fake out on the Whimscott and then going for an Airstream with his... Oh, no, he's not. No Airstream. No Airstream. He's going to do that. And there goes my eject button. Okay. Right. Now we swap him. You want to go after him? We're going to get that surge out here. I'm not going to bring out Cinderace in this instance. I'm going to bring out Indeedee. Pop that surge and roll from there. Then we can get off Tailwind another time. I'm fine with that. Drake Fish should be able to come in here hot and do a decent chunk of damage or maybe even pick up the KO. I know we're minus one. And we're not going first, but still, I, I can see it doing a decent amount of damage with the Choice Ban. Because I feel like the Choice Ban is kind of neglecting the, uh, what's it called? Are you going to do that? Oh, yo, I'm totally fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. Recoil damage comes through. Fish around comes here. But like I said, oh, yes. Oh, my lord. I feel like the Choice Ban is going to counteract that Intimidate minus one. Doing a lot of damage there. Picking up the KO easily. And, um, I think we're fine here. Uh, he does have Speed Advantage with that Thunderous over my Draco Fish. And, and that Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko, baby! Um, I just drop a Force? I think Draco Fish is going to go down here. I think Draco Fish is just going to... He might even pick up the double kill. Kind of scary. I think I just drop a nice little Force here. Get that rolling. See how much damage we can do. And if we can get off this, I am going to go for it. If we can. We still have Cinderace and Whimscott in the back, which is huge. Tailwind into Dynamax Cinderace and just dominating from there. That is going to be huge for us. I am curious to who he's going to go into. Because G-Max Fireball is base 160, which is nuts. It is absolutely insane. I think he's going to Dynamax Coco here. I think Coco's to play. Because he would have Dynamaxed that uh, Thunderous a while ago, or last turn. No, he is still going to go into Thunderous. All right. All right. I don't want no problems. I really don't want, don't want no problems. Probably gonna go into a gleam, take out my jerky fish, no problem, and uh, probably get after my indeed. See what happens here. Is, is a gleam coming out here? Oh, just a straight e web, which jerky fish should be able to eat. Lovely. Who are you gonna go after? He's gonna drop speed. That's totally fine by me, man. That's fine by me. And he going after air streaming for the speed boost into jerky fish. That's fine. Nice, lovely expanded force coming out here. Should be able to do a decent amount. No, we changed up the, the surge. Totally forgot about that. Oh my lord, dude. Everyone's just on our surge today. Everyone's on our surge, man. There's expanding force. Pop that down. I think doing not bad damage. Now the question is, do I come in here, set off a tailwind? I think I just come in the scenarios, helping hand and take out that what's it called. Take out that thunderous. I think that's the play. Or I can just go for an expanding force take you out. Can I guard with you? I cannot guard. Alright, never mind. I'm going to say I guard. But I think Helping Hand is going to be play. And I just Dynamax get after this with a Fireball. But I think Fireball should be able to do, do enough damage. Take it out. 160. Helping Hand damage. Stab damage. And Life Orb damage. It's going to be huge. If you guys see me itching my shoulders often, it's because I got sunburned and my skin's peeling. So your boy's very itchy right now. <laughs> I, just, I just have my skin peeling all over my shoulders when I went on vacation. If you guys haven't checked out my Pokemon Snap video, I talked a little bit about my vacation, but I guess I'll go over it again. I had a blast. I was in Disney World and Universal Studios in Orlando for, I think it was uh, six days, five nights. Something along those lines. Had a blast. Obviously, I'm over to age 21. I'm 22, so I was able to drink with family. I am the youngest, so I was legit like the last string. Everyone's like, yo, when you turn 21? Like, come on, let's get after it. And that's exactly what happens. He's gonna drop a lightning. Should be able to eat fine, right? Yep. We ate up. Here goes my G-Max Fireball, which I think should be able to pick up KO. Let's see. Can we do it? Yeah, dude, that thing is a house. Hitting like a truck. We do big damage to that thing. We get rid of it. We still have Whimscott in the back. We still have Whimscott in the back. It's really not doing anything. Expanded Force will be able to take out that uh, Tapu Koko. So if I can take out another Pokemon with this. And who's it going to be? Hopefully someone else is not going to ask me. It's going to be Blastoise. Blastoise. So I'm just going to drop an expanded force. And I'm just going to drop an airstream. Blastoise is coming out of here. Which Blastoise is not. Actually, it might be. It e webbed me. And it might e web me again. So this one might not be in our favor. Might not be in our favor. Yep, there goes the e web. But chill on me, man! Chill on me. Blastoise missed or go for a shell smash. Something, do something stupid. Just do something stupid for me. There goes Hydro Pump. That's bye bye, Cinderace. Later, dog. Later, dog. 
Um, Expanded Force is going to be able to come out here, pick up the KO off the top of Coco, but I don't think we're winning this battle. Looking a little tough here. Looking a little tough here. I definitely feel like the MVP was on my team. I think it was the eject button of that Wimscott. Because that kind of won in the game, my Wimscott being gone. And then me not having a chance to bring him back out. That's kind of tough. That is kind of tough for us. Like, I, I feel like if we had Focus Ash on this thing, we would be thriving. Oh, wait, it's a 2v1. Um, do I helping hand this? I could. I'm gonna go here. Dude, I didn't even know it's a 2v1. I thought he had one more. We're getting after this thing. Do I Tailwind? No, I think we do as much damage as we possibly can. Because I'm on my Moon Blast, because we're out speeding. Getting after this thing. He probably does have an Ice move. I feel like see it happening. There goes that Ice Beam. So, Wimscott, can you eat? You do not. Expanding Force, I need you here. I need you here, Expanding Force. Do some big damage. Do some big damage. Do him dirty. Get after it. Thank you. We need to be able to eat up a shot. Yo, coming down to the wire again. But hopefully he misses. He's going to try to drop a Hydro Pump, I think. Let's see what happens here. Eat it, Indeedy. Eat it. Miss. Miss. Of course, connects to Hydro Pump. GG's. GG's. There's no way that's this Indeedy is even going up. Let's go! <laughs> Survive it on two and another clutch win for your boy. I don't even know what to say. We legit just survived on two HP and clutched up back to back battles. We're hopping into our third and final. Looking to get a perfect record for this team. This team is thriving pretty well. Like, we go down early, but Cinderace just comes in clutch at the end. Like, once you get him rolling, he can sweep teams left and right, which makes me feel like he is one of the best Pokemon in Series 9 right now. But we're going up against a Surf Colossal team. He has the Blastoise, he has the Colossal, he also has the Roller Boom, Intimidate. Uh, not Incineroar. Intimidate Landorus. That's the name I was thinking of. Um, Urshfu and Regilek. Alright. Uh, definitely want to bring in that Wimscott. I mean, he has a Fake Out user. So I could... No, I don't think he's going to lead the Fake Out user. I'm going to go Wimscott. And I'm going to go Draco Fish. I'm going to go in with this double lead right here. I think we're totally fine with that. He might go Lando, but even with that minus one, I feel like we're still thriving. Definitely bring that Cinderace in the back end. And then the final Pokemon is going to be not Regilek. I don't want him either. He has uh, too much to counter, I think. Regilecki, sorry. You guys already seen plenty of Regilecki, so I feel fine not using him. I think we're going to go Vanelks. Get him a little loving out here. I'm digging it. It was either him or Indeedy. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I think Vanelks is going to get some love in here. He, he, did, he did show up in that first battle, so we'll give him another shot here. We're putting him back in. He's like, yo, coach, put me in. Come on, just give me a shot. I'm like, all right. And Elks, get in here. Come on, get in there. Do something good. Do something good. <laughs> but I forget. I used to use him all the time. Roll Roar Bell out with him. He used Freeze Dry. He used pretty well. He used to work out really, really well. I think like ever since like Owl Armor and Crown Thunder come out and like new abilities, all that stuff, other Pokemon have been taking the spotlight. But he is going to lead the Blastoids and the Regilect. Is Blastoids are in Fake Out? I feel like he can. Looking for this lovely little tailwind. And I'm going to choice into this Fisher's Ren and just try to get rid of this Regilecki. I don't think Regilecki is going to be Sash. It could be, but most people don't really roll out Sash with it. Like, I, I typically don't. I haven't been. I usually... Actually, have I been? I usually don't use choice specs. I usually use, like, Magnet or something. Magnet usually rocks out well, and I usually save my Focus Sash for another Pokemon. But thinking of his team, like, Regilecki probably has the Focus Sash. Right? Yeah. But see, as a roll boom, I, mean, I don't see that thing being focus ash. Landorus, no focus ash. Blastoise, I don't see that thing being focus ash. Oh, Urshifu. Urshifu has focus ash. Sorry, totally forgot about the Pokemon. Urshifu is 100% rocking out with that focus ash. So I gotta watch out for that in the back end. Because that Pokemon always sucks. Either that or choice ban. But most of the time, you know he's rocking out with the sash. He's gonna end up Dynamaxing. Actually. Okay. I'm with it. Should be able to get off a Tailwind set up here and get off a nice big Fishes Ren. Or well, this thing is rock and fake out. Not a fan. Not a fan. On my Draco Fish. So we do get off a Tailwind. Which is lovely. He's going to drop a Lightning onto me. Go do it. I dare. Oh no. He's going to drop a Strike. And slow us down. We should be able to eat up that Strike. We have all day. And we should still have Speed Advantage. Which is lovely. Because Tailwind acts as like a plus two. That's only a minus one. 
If he went away, I'm surprised he didn't drop that lightning. I'm very surprised he didn't drop that lightning. I am going to help in hand this Draco Fish. I'm going to try to get off as much damage as I humanly possibly can before my Draco Fish goes out here. Getting after. He might shell smash here. That'd be a play. I might try to pick up the, the, the KO on the fish and then go for a lightning onto my uh, uh, Whimscott. Are we getting this off? And you outspeed me? Oh, Regilecki does. Okay. Okay, that's fair. Dang it. Waste of a turn. I, was, I, I thought Blasters. I did not see that Regilecki really coming after my jump. Not a shot, but yo, I'm totally fine with that. You wasting two turns on Dynamax on, on one of my Pokemon? Loving it. You gotta love it. Come out here, Ice Beam. Probably gonna pick up the KO, right? No, but Eject Button's gonna swap us out. Eject Button is gonna swap us out, so I'm gonna get two fresh Pokemon out here. I'm gonna be able to Dynamax this Cinerace, and I'm gonna be able to get after this. Can I not swap them both at the same time? The Cinerace coming out here. Getting after it. I definitely gotta change up typing. Speed is on our side. Vanellix coming out here. Um, What do I think the play is? Change typing, go into air, flying, and then drop a nice lovely blizzard. No, do not go into air. He has that thingy. Could go into steel. Steel's not very effective, but just might work. It <laughs> just might work. It could bounce. I think I'm just gonna knuckle. Get an attack boost. And slow them down. What do I drop a blizzard? This is not bad. I think I'd rather get a little slowdown going with these guys. Especially with Regilecki. He's a really, really fast Pokemon. Okay, so once I can get rid of this Regilecki, we should be fine. Which would be next turn. Which would be next turn. I get this attack boost. I can drop Pyro Ball into it next turn. Slow down these Pokemon. I really don't like that blast. Your post is big time. Let's see what he's what, he, what, he, what is he gonna do here? This thing is going to guard. That is lovely. That is lovely. I'm digging that a lot. So we just wasted out all three of his turns. I could have went to an airstream, but I thought he was gonna be able to drop a big old lightning on me. There, there goes that knuckle. We get that huge attack boost. I'm gonna be able to power ball right after that or G Max fireball. Into that red life. You take him out, no problem. We show our orb. Icy Wind's gonna come through it here. That's gonna get blocked. He's probably trying to drop like a Hydro Pump or something along those lines. So good thing I did change up my typing. And a, I think a Blizzard can take that out. I really do think a Blizzard can take out that Blast Weeds, no problem. He's gonna take Buffet damage as well. Water Spout with no HP. Well, he was full when he used it, so solid turn for us. Big turn for us. I think we're fine here. I think we're fine with dropping a Blizzard. It's gonna be able to hit 100% of the time. Take out that Blast Weeds, no problem. And then we just Fireball. Let me just fireball and make sure we pick up this KO. Right? That's a solid turn. Man. Solid turn for me, boy. I think I think we got this one. I think we're looking at a nice little 3-0 coming up here. How about that? Hopefully, hopefully. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but those first two battles were insane. I cannot get them off my mind. Just Vanellix being clutch. Indeedy being able to soak up that shot. Live on two. Basically getting a free focus ash. I can see the other guy. Like, if, if I was on that end, I'd quit. I'd be so upset. Basilio. We need some luck. We're, we're usually on the bad end of it. You guys know that. Let's see. He's going to withdraw the Regilecki. That's totally fine. And you're going to go into Ursula. Okay, yo. I'm totally with that. I love it. I love it. That's huge. We're going to bring this thing down to the Sash. And the Hail is going to take it out. Oh, give me that victory. Yo, that's just going to solidify this victory. That's just going to solidify it. Easy. Light work. Get out of my face. Get him out of here. Blizzard coming out here. Bang. Double kill. I am... Uh, do we have one more turn left in Tailwind? I think we should. If we have one more turn left in Tailwind, then we're... I think we're chilling here. Oh, we don't. We do not. But we have one turn left in Dynamax. Which I gotta get rid of the Reg Regilecki. That thing just scared me. That was a solid swap. Get that speed drop. Because now we don't have Tailwind. He's going to end up going real boom. Hmm. Hmm. Good fake out. Can fake out. I go for the airstream. 
This thing could potentially be Cobra Berry. I think I just take out the Regilecki. I think that's posing a way bigger threat here. Let me just take that thing out. I might have Fake Out rocking out up against my Vanelks. I really don't want to change typings. I think Reg I think Regilecki's just posing that way bigger threat. He Dynamaxes, so it obviously is it is it Orb? No, it's not Orb. It might be Magnet. Let's see what's happening here. Fake Out's gonna come out here. Okay. That's fine. And Hyper Beam. He's that's his last ditch effort there. That's his last ditch effort right there. G Max Fireball. It is Orb. G Max Fireball comes out here. That's gonna be able to pick up the easy KO. Especially like he's a lightweight. Get it out of my game. So now it's just Cinderace and Vanellix versus Athlon. I got Blizzard hitting 100% of the time. Actually, it might be gone now. Actually, we might have one more turn in it, which would be lovely. One more turn would be dope. And we should be able to outspeed unless a Grassy God. I don't think a Grass God is going to be able to take me out. I am sitting at fire typing right now. I did not switch out. I think your boy's looking pretty good. We got hail from one more turn, which is wonderful. Blizzard's hitting 100% of the time. Super effective stab. We have power balls coming out here. Super effective stab. Oh, yes, sir. Your boy's buzzing. Fireball. Blizzard. Like I said, as long as this grass guy doesn't take out my cinders, the only way we lose. So we have. Is Regilecki at full? Well, not Regilecki. Is Vanellix at full? Let's see who he goes after. He goes after Vanellix. Vanellix does die. All right, take a step back here. Let's slow down here. Let's just, let's just slow it down here. Let's just slow it down here. What is this game? Are you serious? What is this game? A Rillaboom just clutched up like that? This battle was full of clutches, but my Cinderace really missed that Pyro Ball right there. I land two Blizzards earlier in the battle, but miss a Pyro Ball? And then this Grass Guide takes out my almost full health Vanellix in one shot, get him out of there, and then my Cinderace misses? Bruh, get this game out my face. Cannot deal with it. Thank God I got up and left that battle. I was done after that. I was not having it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.